everybody. This video is for Intermediate Smooth and Standard. So I was thinking about what I could show you via video, especially because some of you will be stuck at home by yourselves and with not a lot of space to work. And because Smooth and Standard travel, it's a little more challenging to work on those. So today I want to bring you an exercise that you can do solo with not a lot of space, and you can even do it in your sock feet like I am today. So no dance shoes is no excuse. This one is um, gonna work on the lowering action. You guys have heard me talk a lot in my classes about how we lower to tell our partner we're getting ready to go. So we lower before we step, and it's like the signal, okay, I'm going, before we actually step, so our partner knows we're about to transfer our weight. Now we need to take our lowering to the next step. So what we're going to work on today is how to combine our lowering with the extension of our foot so we smooth it out into one nice action. So to do that, you're going to stand in your regular standard posture, make sure you're stacked, and we're going to lower and extend our foot at the same time. And then we're going to come back up. We're going to lower and extend our foot, and we're going to come back up. I'm going to show it to you from the side. We're standing nice and straight. We're going to lower and extend our foot out and come back up. Lower, extend our foot and come back up. That's the exercise. You can do this. There are a couple of things that we're looking for when we do this to make sure that we're working on it correctly. The first is our posture. We want to make sure we're nice and straight. One way you can do that is by using a prop. I have a broomstick. You can actually have your broom part attached to the bottom. I've taken it off because it's a lot easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this broomstick and I'm going to put it up my back. So I've got it touching at the base of my back and I've got it touching at my head and I'm trying to keep my mid back or my upper back against it as well. So no space between me and the broomstick. Now I'm going to do the lower. Trying to keep contact with those three point points of my spine with my broomstick and holding on, I'm going to lower and stand back up. Lower and stand back up. What I don't want to have happen is lower and tip or lower and arch. The stick is a tool so that I can remember to stay nice and straight. The second thing that I'm working on when I'm doing this exercise is trying to coordinate the bending of my knee with the extending of my foot. So it all happens at the same time. So what I don't want, bad example, lower foot or foot lower. I'm trying to bend my knee and extend my foot at exactly the same time. I'm going to hold it for a second and I'm going to come back up. Lower and extend my foot, hold it, come back up. Try and smooth out the action. And if you stay in that squatted position for a minute to check your balance, you're also building some strength. I'm also being careful that when I lower, I'm lowering and extending and showing a clear heel lead on that front foot because this is smooth and standard. Remember, heel when we go forward. You can also do this exercise to the side and to the back. So when I'm going to the side, it's the same principle. I stack myself nice and straight. I lower and I extend out to the side. I'm using the inside edge of my foot out here. And then I come back up. Lower it out to the side. Inside edge of the foot. And I'm making sure that my knee doesn't go out or in. I'm trying to keep it aligned over my toe so that I keep myself nice and straight and safe. Then I come back up. Other side, lower, come back up. Good. To the back. I'm going to lower and extend my foot out. 
come back up. Lower and extend my foot out and come back up. So this is an exercise that you can do to work on smoothing out that lowering action to tell my partner I'm gonna come. And it also builds some strength and we're working on our alignment as we do this. You can do these things anywhere, in your kitchen, outside, in your living room, in your sock feet like I am, in your dance shoes if you like. This is your chance to work on this lowering action, smoothing out the lowering and the extending of the foot. We can get that all in one continuous motion. Working without a partner also gives you a really great chance to focus in on yourself and your posture, to find your own alignment before we have to worry about matching with someone else. Try it out. And when you come back to the dance floor, you'll see that this makes a huge improvement in smoothing out your dancing.